Salam. Greetings everyone. Although the arrangement is simple, but the message I want to give is strong. Everybody makes videos. I've been surfing the net for the past 12 years. I thought I'll make one also. But this time, with a heavy heart, the message is rather different. The message is, Thy shall not hurt mankind. Thy shall not hurt mankind. This is true in every religion. May that be Judaism, may that be Christianity, may that be Islam. In all of them it's the same. Do not hurt mankind. And my request to all the leaders of the world, because social media is strong and everybody listens to everyone, my message to the leaders of the world is, where is humanity today? Humanity which in the 1980s or the 90s, people used to say that the Western society has picked up the good parts, the good habits of the Muslims. And it proved to be right. Free medicine, education for all, security, women's security, most of all, which is respected in Islam a lot, and so many other things. But slowly it all diminished. And now it has diminished to the extent that you guys are diggers drawn. And you know, because of all, the, all that's happening around us, the normal people, the white collared people, who prefer simple living, do not have anything on lease, do not have mortgages, do not have sufficient amounts of money. They are out of business. I am out of business. I am one of them. So I thought I will make a video and I will float it. Maybe it doesn't reach most of you, but to the ones it does, I do carry a message. It all started on the basis of humanity. It was never about war. Allah did not give iron and brass to make guns. There are so many other uses for it. As far as other things are concerned, let's talk about inflation. If you talk about inflation, I've been mining for the past 12 years. I'm in the mining, I was in the mining business. When we scale a mountain and we take out copper or any other mineral, quartz for example, marble, the mountain doesn't tell us to go deposit one million dollars in Bank of America and then come back to me and I'll give you what you want. The mountain is free. It doesn't charge you. No, it doesn't. And so is true for so many other things. The water we drink, it's free. The fruits which go on trees are also free. The grounds which you cultivate for different kinds of things, wheat and so forth, so on and so forth, they come out of the ground free. The ground never tells you to give me so much money, otherwise I won't give you. No, it's not like that. It's all based on humanity. It's based on proper equality, proper understanding. You see, voting for the plane of heaven is still in progress. You can still board that plane, not far away. But once the boarding stops, then you won't be able to buy a ticket. And the plane which goes to heaven, the ticket and the currency is your good deeds. Nothing else, a big house or a big car won't get you to heaven. Your good deeds will. So it's based on humanity. Everything is based on humanity. We need to be clear in our conscience. There are banking uh, sector has many issues which are not supposed to be there. And then there are so many other aspects. But basically, we need to respect humanity. And for all the leaders, I give a message. Live and let live. Don't bring it to the point that you can't go back again. 
this is my message to everyone respect love for children regard for the elders clean conscience living in a clean way without hurting anybody's feelings this is what life is all about nothing else everything else is all elastic i would say the inelastic thing in your life are your good deeds that's what's going to get you across so to my message to all the leaders please think again the boarding has not stopped yet i wish you all good luck salam